I'm Rajesh. I'm Marshall Cottrell. All right, now previously we reviewed the iPhone and the LG Voyager. And now we're going to take a look at probably the two biggest rivals when it comes to operating systems, uh, Windows Vista and Mac OS X. Right. All right, so uh, first of all, what we're going to do is uh, look at some of the features that are in Mac OS X right now. Uh, if we uh, look to the main desktop here, we can see uh, it's uh, pretty basically laid out. I mean, you got your dock at the bottom, just like in uh, like in Tiger, if you're familiar with that. And then you have your menu bar at the top. And uh, one of the cool new features in Leopard is uh, Spaces, which actually allows you to have up to, I think, 16 virtual desktops running all at the same time. So if we click on that at the bottom here, we can see that I can have Windows open in other, quote, virtual desktops. So, I mean, you can easily switch between the between them and uh, you can just have a lot of open windows at the same time and yet keep your desktop nice and organized. Also if you uh, hold down the control key and use your arrow keys it, uh, it's a nice way of just navigating around. Uh, also another big humongous feature that is necessary for uh, computer users is, uh, is a backup utility and Apple did a great job of this uh, when they introduced the new operating system. If we look to the desktop again uh, Any time that you plug in an external drive, it'll ask you if you want to use this drive for Time Machine. If you click yes, it'll show up right here uh, at the left of your or at the right of your screen. And uh, so I have a 250 gigabyte FireWire drive plugged up right now uh, that I'm using for Time Machine. And if you open up any Finder window, um, let's say my main hard drive, the root drive here. And then if I click on the Time Machine button at the bottom on the dock, it goes into this nice visual backup of everything back here to uh, Tuesday, December 25th. So if I go back to that time, any differences that it has observed within that time period are shown right here. And then we can, uh, if we uh, cancel that, it brings us back to the present and then shows us back to our desktop. So it's just a really nice uh, backup utility. All right. Now, uh, as we've seen, Leopard seems to be uh, quite a competitor uh, when we look at Windows Vista. Now, obviously, uh, Windows Vista um, is the successor to Windows XP. And uh, some claim that it probably doesn't li live up to its, uh, its all its hype. So if we look at just the main, um, if we just look at the main desktop over here, uh, we can see that uh, it's pretty much exactly the same when it comes to um, looks. Just everything's a little, uh, a little more glossier. Everything's a little uh, more. Uh, it uses a lot more graphics, and uh, some may call that a negative aspect. Uh, personally, I think it gives it a nice uh, touch. Now, um, apart from well, apart from Leopard, uh, whose menu, which is uh, has a menu bar up on top. Um, Windows Vista has the menu bar on the bottom. So uh, if we look at here, this is the Start button, obviously, and this is the same for Windows XP. Um, and then you've got all your tabs or all your um, applications you know, right here. And you minimize them, and obviously they appear back up in the bar. Over on the right, you've got um, your major applications that are uh, load with the startup of Windows Vista. And you can just basically just look at you know, each one. You know, of course, your battery, your network, and the volume, and as such. Now, uh, once you go into the Start menu, one of the new features that Vista has um, is this search bar. And uh, what you can do is just like uh, Spotlight in uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah Spotlight in Leopard, uh, you can just type in any application, any file, um, just like that, and it'll show up. Um, I don't think you can see quite clearly, but I mean, I mean, it d just shows up. I typed in Notepad, and there it goes. It showed me Notepad. Now, um, you know. A leopard may have spaces, but uh, I mean, Windows Vista doesn't have anything like that. What may come close or some sort of organization um, to quickly uh, view your applications or look at your ap applications is called uh, Airglass. And what you do is you press this window button here and tab, and there you go. Uh, these are all my applications that I have open, such as that's um, the photo viewer, um, Internet Explorer, my desktop, 
uh, and Win Windows Movie Maker. So that's what uh, that's what Windows Vista has. Now, um, what you see here on the on the on the right right here um, is what they call sidebar, which is supposed to compete with Leopard's uh, dashboard. And basically, it has widgets uh, widgets made by Windows. And uh, you can all I have now is time and um, a photo viewer, but you can put like weather, your stocks, or any such um, little widgets over there. All right, and uh, if we look to uh, the comparison of widgets on a Mac, um, what we can see is that it actually originated from Mac OS X, and it was sort of uh, sort of uh, stolen or taken by uh, Microsoft because they thought it was a good idea. If we go to the dashboard here at the bottom corner of our screen on our dock, it opens up all these widgets that we have uh, currently open. and. Uh, I mean, I'll wait for those to load into the RAM, but it's got pretty much anything that you want. Uh, and a new thing that's been added with Leopard is a uh, web clip. So I'm not connected to the internet right now. So obviously they're showing up as such. And uh, this is the weather. So because I don't have internet access, none of this is showing up right now. But there's a wide variety of uh, or, uh, little widgets that come into play uh, when you uh, pre-install Leopard. It just comes with about. 20 to 25 built-in ones that uh, you can add or subtract from your desktop and or from your dashboard, and they also have a wide variety of uh, online uh, widgets that uh, are provided by Apple through third-party um, developers. And if we look back to the desktop again, um, I believe Rajesh was talking about. Uh, uh, the uh, Windows Live Search that is built into the taskbar. If you look to the top in Mac OS X, uh, it's just called something a little different. It's called Spotlight when you look uh, uh, when you're talking about Mac. So if we type in something like uh, I don't know, address book. Yeah, it just shows up with uh, pretty much the exact same thing that you get in uh, OS X. It shows your address. Of course, the top hit here is the address book. It also shows uh, definitions, uh, system preferences. It pretty much indexes everything on your hard drive from uh, your uh, mail inbox all the way down to every web page that you visit. So if you just look at uh, any, any text on any web page that you've ever visited, it'll, uh, it'll apply that in the spotlight and uh, use that as an index search. Uh, it's also very fast, like extremely fast. Like at, at, uh, Auto looks for it as you're typing. I mean, so it's, it's, it's just search, man. <laughs> but it has to index the entire hard drive. Ah, true. All right. Um, so I guess if we look to some of the built-in applications that uh, come with Mac OS X, uh, we can see it comes with a wide variety, including uh, uh, the address book, of course. But it also comes with a, uh, uh, a handy little thing that I guess is comparable to Windows Media Center called Front Row. And I'll wait for that to open really quick, but you can actually use it with the uh, Apple remote that ships with all Macs uh, currently. It's just a nice little interface for if you're uh, viewing movies and uh, other uh, music or podcasts or anything that you subscribe to, uh, including RSS feeds and stuff like that. Uh, it's just a very nice way of looking at it from, uh, say, all the way across the room if you have it like sitting on the end of your bed or something. So it's really easy to flip, flip through. It's a, it's a nice interface. Uh, it, it's Comparable to the Apple TV, if you uh, if you uh, look at the older firmware versions on that, and uh, so 